Hello everyone. Welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. This video is about setting up a favicon to your site in the correct way. If you don't know what a favicon is, it is this little icon that you see on each of your browser tabs. This icon helps the user recognize your website when they have multiple tabs open. Not only that, when the user bookmarks your page or creates a desktop shortcut, this icon is used for display. Favicon is generally the logo or mascot of your website. But don't worry, even if you don't have a logo, I'll show you how to set up a suitable favicon towards the end. First, let's say you have a logo that looks like this. We need to crop this icon into a square because favicon is best generated using a square image. In my previous video, I have demonstrated how to crop your image into a square. Let's quickly do that. Open pixelr.com slash e. Open your image. Select the crop tool on left. Click on ratio and make sure the ratio is 1 is to 1. Select the portion required and click on apply. Save this as a PNG and download the image. Now you have the square logo ready. Next, let's go to favicon.io. This is where we generate our favicon. Scroll down. You can generate your favicon in three ways. From an image, from text or from emoji. Since we already have our image, let's select the first option. Scroll down. Drag and drop your image here. Look at the preview. This is what your favicon will look like. Now download the files. You will get a zipped file. Open it. When you unzip it, these are the contents of this folder. Copy all of these and paste them into the root folder of your website where your index.html is located. Next, go back to favicon.io, scroll down further and you see these four lines here. Click on copy, paste them in your index.html and other HTML pages in the head section like this and delete this backslash in each of the href values. It will work with the backslash when your images are in the root folder but for our demonstration because my website folder is in the desktop it will not work with a backslash. Open the web page in your browser and you will see your little favicon appearing here. Now what if you don't have a logo for your site? Go back to home page of favicon.io, select the second option text to icon. Scroll down, here you can type the letter you wish to use as icon. Let's say T. Choose the shape, rounded corner, square or circle. Choose a font, let's say Lancelot. You can wish to change the text color or background color. Then click on download. You will get the same zipped file previously and you need to follow the same steps. Simple and neat, right? Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.